Hello guys. So welcome to KO Tutorials. So let's continue with the next part of this tutorial. So let's get started. So as you can see over here, we have started with the modeling of this particular interior storeroom over here. So let's continue it. So let's start doing the modeling part. So definitely we are going a bit slow, but for better understanding, we are modeling each and everything over here. So definitely takes time. So again, I'll just create a book over here. I'll slightly rotate it. Convert to editable poly. So let's just select this edges and slightly give a bit of chamfer over here. Click OK. Select this polygons over here. And let's give a bit of extrude by local normal and slightly I'll reduce it or before that you can just give insert slightly and then you can give a bit of extrude over here and click OK. So once you are done over here I can again go into the polygons I'll just push it in this way. Again I'll make a copy of it Again, I'll slightly rotate it. Again, I'll make a copy of it. Now, again, take a box over here. So there are a few of the things which you are going to model over here. So let's again take a spear over here, right on top of it. I'll just place it in this way, we'll do the details. Again I'll take this, make a copy of it. Again I'll go into this and I'll just change the text character to A over here I'll slightly just push this up select this again shuffle this down over here slightly push this up push it behind and Again make one more copy of it, shuffle this down, now let's take again a character. Just again change this text, make it as R over here. Again, take a box and let's give a tapper modifier. So, let's assign a tapper modifier over here. So, after you have assigned a tapper modifier, I'll slightly give a bit of tapper. I'll slightly scale this. So definitely we need to uh, reduce the size of it. If you can reduce its size, it looks much better. So convert to editable poly. And let's add a swift loop over here. So select the polygons. I'll just select this top polygons over here and I'll slightly give a bit of extrude by local normal click OK and I'll delete this let's give a shell modifier so shell modifier will give a bit of thickness so I can slightly assign thickness to it 
with the help of this shell modifier I can slightly just scale this that can be done over here all right so now let's again move over here there are many other things so how you can model this we'll just try to model this bicycle over here so very first of all it's also part of a prop over here so let's just take a tube over here we'll definitely resize it later on or you can take a torus very first of all so let's just take a torus over here and increase its size over here so after you have increased its size okay this looks much better so convert to editable poly so i'll again go into this i'll select this edges i'll ring it control and click on the polygons i'll slightly extrude it by local normal like this till here again i'll go into this view over here i'll take a cylinder over here i'll make a cylinder so let's take a cylinder slightly push it over here in this way and increase its height so convert to editable poly so select this r and scale this select this r and scale this again over here if you want you can slightly scale this also let's slightly scale this the same way so definitely we are whatever we are creating right now we are creating straight because this bicycle is definitely tilted so we will definitely create the things straight so again i'll go over here and i'll just take a line tool over here i'll off this auto grid over here so let's just take a line tool over here i'll take a line tool over here rendering enable in viewport so slightly just increase this let's go into this view over here shuffle this till here slightly reduce the thickness of it now what i can do over here again i'll take a line let's take a line over here and i'll drag it till here in this way and let's slightly reduce its thickness as it is so again take select the vertices and slightly i'll give a bit of fillet to it not much again take a mirror copy this in this axis the same way so i'll slightly just push this go into this view push it at the center over here in this way so now again take a line let's just take a line over here and reduce its thickness slightly just shuffle this over here select the vertices 
and again go over here go into the hierarchy effect pivot only i'll set the pivot point to the center and i'll slightly rotate it i'll rotate it let's rotate it so once you have rotated it again i'll subtract this and mirror it in x axis slightly and most importantly i can give a bit of rotation all right so once you are done over here i can just click over here i'll slightly push this down increase a bit of its thickness so whatever we are creating right now over here that is considered as a prop over here let's assign one connect over here select the polygons slightly give a bit of extrude by local normal so i'll be just reducing it to very very less not much all right so very important just save your file once again over here so it's going to take time so let's again go into this view over here and let's select this i'll just exclude this and let's just make a copy of it like this till here slightly just push this up again i'll take one more line over here till here and i'll take one more line which is connected till here so let's just select the vertices and we'll try to set this till here again take one more line so this line needs to be connected over here that's it so let's just select this whole thing so if you want you can uh, easily attach it if required or we'll just keep it as it is i'll again go into this view and i'll shuffle it over here so i can just adjust it over here so the same way again i'll take one more line i'll just connect it over here and let's slightly reduce its thickness select the vertices just it. so we'll put this to the top in here
So just adjust it. So just duplicate that, mirror it, same in x-axis, make a copy of it in this axis. Alright, so guys if any doubts please put it in the comment section over here. So please like and subscribe my youtube channel, we are creating this interior. Soon we will be completing with the modeling part over here. So please like and subscribe my YouTube channel. So we'll continue the rest of the part in the coming tutorial. So thanks for watching this tutorial.